at five months of pregnancy, the soul enters the body, the en soul enters the fetus, and then the mother feels the mothers can feel the movement of the baby, right? And when the soul leaves the body, then nothing functions, right? So soul is eternal, body is mortal. So we have to connect. Continuously we should remain connected that I am a being, I am a soul. That is meditation. Once you are connected with, with, that, with your own truth, then you are automatically connected with that supreme truth. Right? The supreme being, the God. Powerhouse of seven spiritual energies. So whenever you are told to have a minute of silence, that means put a full stop to the past, be focused in your truth, get connected to the truth, and then you can get connected to the supreme truth. Right? That is meditation. And that should be practiced always. All our problems, all our diseases are because of we are connected with, the, with our unreal, untruth, falsehood. I am a doctor. I am so and so. I am head of the department, right? That is the culprit. Hmm? I am the husband. I am the, I am the wife. Then the whole problem comes in. You are not born as doctors. We were not born as doctors. We were not born as husbands or wives or parents, right? We are playing roles. Roles are not permanent, right? That creates problem. This is loss of ease. So let's start with our topic. Today's topic is healing the heart. I'll just share with you, and we call it three-dimensional healthcare module for healthy heart, happy mind, and healthy body. It's not only for healthy heart, but it's also for happy mind and also for healthy body. Each and every cell of the body changes. Each and every thought, emotion of the human being changes with this program, right? Three-dimensional means addressing all the three dimensions of human being, the soul, the mind, and the body. So, uh, Uh, this is my hospital where I joined in 95, April 95. And this is my another hospital, we call it Trauma Center. And uh, now, just to share with you before I start on the, this research project. At present, about uh, this disease was in 1960s, it was only 1% of population was having heart disease. But now it's about 14% of population. In 2015, about 62 million cases in India were documented as coronary artery disease patients. Right? And out of which 37 million were below 50 years of age. And in that year, about 29 lakh people died because of CAD and stroke. And out of which about That means about, and for every heart patient, there are two hidden heart patients. So you can imagine that now out of 140 crore people in the country, at least we have 20 lakh people suffering from, 20 crore people suffering from heart disease. About 14% of the population. And uh, every year almost 30 lakh people die because of this number one killer in the world. 
out of which about 16 lakh are below the age of 50 years. So it's a disease not of old people, but it's a disease of younger people, less than 50 years. Now I'll just share you with some cases. You can see on the screen there. This is a patient who had his a triple vessel disease. He is an industrialist. He had hypertension, diabetes, smoking. He was his obese person, sedentary lifestyle. And he also, and he had his angioplasty done in 2007. Again, after three years, there was a blockage in that, there was a re, instant restenosis. And then he had another block coming up. So he had angioplasty stents, two stents given in 2010. 2014, again, he started having symptoms. Then, then bypass was done in 2014, right? And then, if you see here, again, in just two months after bypass, he developed symptoms. And then he went to Houston, USA and his all the grafts, grafts were found blocked and there in Houston he was given angioplasty, balloon angioplasty to all the stents, uh, all, the, all the grafts and after just four months of getting angioplasty, balloon angioplasty done, again he could not walk 50 meters. Then he came to us. So this patient since then is fine. And now it's nine years, he is walking five kilometers a day without any symptoms. And you can see this, you can see that his grafts, all the grafts are blocked. I can't come and show you on the screen there, but you can see that all the grafts have got blocked. All the stents have got blocked again. So basically angioplasty or bypass is not the ultimate treatment. It is only a palliation. It does not address the root cause. I'll show you another, another patient who is, who is not hypertensive, who is not diabetic, who is not a smoker, who is a lean and thin person, he is five, eight in, uh, five, inch, five feet and eight inches in height and weight is only 60, 62 kg when he came to us. But so the hypertension diabetes or no hypertension diabetes, smoking or not smoking, still you can have the same problem. 2013 he had angioplasty done, 2014 the stent got blocked so two more stents were put and 2015 he had to undergo bypass surgery. Three years, every year he had to undergo angioplasty or bypass. And st still, after two months of bypass, he, could, he, he had again problems. So another, an, another type of patients in India we get is diffuse disease. Out of 100 heart patients, CAD patient, documented patients, angiography documented patients, 54% patients have diffuse disease, which is not operable. You cannot, they, these people cannot be given angioplasty because the stents, the grafts, the blockages are very long. Almost the whole artery is blocked and you, they are also not amenable to bypass surgery. See this, you can see this, multiple blocks and not amenable for surgery. Now this is another patient, she is a director of an NGO in Delhi. She, till now she had 13 stents and one bypass. And when she came to us, she could not walk 100 meters. She tall lady and uh, five, 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 five feet and nine inches and not obese, not hypertensive, not diabetic, but a lot of stress and she has the problem. Right? And since then she is okay. After, for last five years she is okay. And similarly you can see another patient. Uh, this, is a, this is the angioplast, angi angiography of the, this patient. And then see another one. He's got seven stents already in the, in the body and still he was not able to walk and now he's okay, right? And so whatever we are doing, angioplasty or bypass surgery, this is, this is or uh, we are using statins for every patient. This does essentially palliative. It does not address the root cause. Root cause is genes. Root cause is mental stress. Root cause is diet, exercise. Wrong diet, wrong exercise, wrong sleep, and wrong tobacco. We take a lot of tobacco. So it, the, all these treatments, whatever the modern health healthcare is giving us, it is only one dimensional. It addresses only the body. While everyone knows today the CAD, coronary artery disease, is a psychosomatic disease. It's a lifestyle disease. Only by addressing the body, we cannot treat the disease. And you can see another patient, he's, he's from USA. See this multiple blocks and diffuse disease, not operable. He came to us and he, now he's much better. 
See, in US, we have about 20 lakh heart attacks occurring every year. We, in India, we have 70 to 80 lakhs heart attack every year. Out of which, for 4 lakhs, we do angioplasty, and for about 1.5 lakhs, we do bypass surgery. Can we do 70 to 80 lakh bypass surgeries or angioplasties in our country? And for this, they, did, they do about 13 lakh angioplasties every year and 4.5 lakhs bypass surgeries every year. That year, in 2006, they spent 104 billion in these two procedures. Nowadays, they are spending about 150 billion rupees, 15 billion dollars for these two procedures in their country. Can we afford 150 billion rupees to be spent on these two interventions? Is it possible? Our total health budget is not this much, right? So we cannot do it. Numbers are enormous. So I was talking about genes. Genes are very, very important in causing coronary artery disease or hypertension or diabetes or insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, or if for that matter, GERD, for that matter, any disease of mind and body. Genes play a great role. And in, in 2009, Nobel Prize was given for healthy aging to uh, Miss Elizabeth Blackburn, Carol Greeder, and Jack W. Jostek. And there they, they seen that if that you do meditation regularly, you change your diet. Main thing is balanced diet, not naturopathy or anything else. It, was, it has to be balanced diet, which should contain carbohydrate in proper amount, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water in proper amount. And lifestyle change means follow your clock, biological clock. There's a biological circadian rhythm. There's a time to go to bed, time to get up from the bed, time for meditation, time for planning, time for exercise, time for breakfast, time for lunch, time for dinner, and time for working. The best times for, with the best efficiency, that is the best time. So then, if you follow this, meditation, diet, and exercise, just for three months, you can change gene expression in hundreds of genes within a, period of few, within a small period of three months. And they have seen that genes associated with CAD, cancer, obesity, hypertension, and inflammatory bowel disease, and also rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, can be turned off or down-regulated or, and protective genes can be turned on. Actually, we have planned, I'll just share with you a little later, and I'll just be showing you practical model of healing the heart. This research which we have, we started, uh, this is the research we started in uh, 95, April 95. This CAD research program was, I had a vision, you must have been told about Brahmurath meditation, you are doing Amritvela meditation daily? 4 a.m. meditation here? So I got this knowledge when I was in Ames, Delhi, on Institute of Medical Sciences in Delhi. That time, you know, I used to, we used to stay in Ayurvigyan Nagar, and uh, we were very busy. We used to go at the hospital at 7 a.m. and come, out, come back at 12 or 1 or 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. in the morning, have four hours sleep and go back again at 7 a.m. in the hospital because we have to get everything ready by the time consultant comes. I had started my MD, medicine, MD there in 1986. So then one day we were going to the cinema and the film was Nagina. You know Nagina? Rishi Kapoor Nagi, and uh, Shri Devi. That was an Upahar cinema. That was across the Ames. And on the, in the, on the way, my wife was sitting me, behind me and my son was, that time he was two, less than two years old. He was just in front. And then my wife saw a Brahma Kumari center there. It was written gateway to heaven. She told me that, where are you taking me? Gateway to hell. I don't want to go there. I, will, I want to go there, go inside. And then we entered that center, gateway to heaven in South Extension. And since that day, August 25, 1986, we are just inside there, only, inside that place only. We have not come out of heaven. So I had in 
Fab 95 had a vision in morning meditation, 4 to 5 a.m. Actually, that day when we entered the center, the teachers gave us, you know, the Brahma Kumari teachers, they showed us this, the, the, the exhibition. And it, it appealed to me, yes, this is the truth. And then only thing we asked them, can we talk to God? Yes, they said, yes, you can talk to God. And then we started practicing meditation since that day. 4 a.m. meditation. I mean, we never missed our 4 a.m. meditation. Once I understood what is, who am I and who is mine. Since then, I never missed my meditation, morning meditation. And during one of the morning meditations in, on 26th and 27th Feb 1995, I had visions on how to open the blockages or how to regress the disease, how to address for that matter any disease of mind and body. And then I started delivering talks on stress and heart disease. Because I, I was work, working at a, in one of the premium heart hospitals in Delhi, the only heart hospital you can say. I'm not naming the heart hospital. You can understand yourself. In 95, which was the main premium, premier hospital in Delhi. And I was working there. And because we used to do angioplasties, we, put the, we used to put the stents. And within, uh, sometimes within three, three months, within six months, people used to come back with another acute coronary event. And then we used to ask them, uh, this is the, you have developed a new problem. Angiography reveals that the stent has got blocked and new blocks have come up. So you have to undergo bypass surgery or angioplasty. So then the patient used to tell me, Dr. Sir, we sold our house to get our angioplasty done, stenting done. And last six months I'm not working at all because of my problem. And now you're telling me you have to undergo another angioplasty or bypass surgery. What should I sell now? That moved my mind, the, my heart, you can say. Not this heart, this heart. And then I started reading much more. And then we, we, in those days, 95, Feb 95, March 95, we were reading a lot of articles in circulation, American Heart Journal, and the European Society of uh, Cardiology Journal, that many studies were coming, which were telling us that type A behavior, people who have type A behavior, type, well, do you know what is type A behavior? Type A behavior means feeling pressure of time, pressure of work and pressure of perfection, pressure of competition, pressure of co comparison, aggression. So this is a pressure-based lifestyle. People who have pressure-based lifestyle, that is that in those people you get three times more chances of getting heart attacks. People, have, people with anxiety, they have two times more chances of getting heart attacks. People with anger, they have, they have about 3.5 chance, times more chances of getting a heart attack. People with depression have got five times more chances of developing heart attack. People who do not, do not ventilate their minds, they have three times more chance of developing heart attacks. Similarly, people with cynical behavior, finding fault with others, people with hostile behavior, they have got much more chance of developing heart attack. So I planned one lecture for our IMA people, DMA, we call, in Delhi we call DMA, Delhi Medical Association. And I started delivering talks. On one, 6th March, 95, I was delivering a talk in one of the gatherings. And there, one of the DRDO scientists listened to my talk. And then he talked to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So he was the director general of DRDO that time. And then Dr. Kalam called me on 9th of March. So I shared with him. And he said, Dr. Gupta, this is a wonderful idea. If meditation can regress, meditation can open the blockages, can reverse the heart disease, it will be a great boon. So you do this research, I'm with you, my whole DRDO is with you. And then we planned a research with DRDO and three tertiary cardiac centers, one in Delhi, one in Ahmedabad and one in Mumbai. We collaborated with them and planned a research program, submitted to Ministry of Health 
and then 9th March I met him and 14th April I shifted to Mount Abu. 14th I April I started from Delhi and shifted to Mount Abu. 15th I was here. Can you imagine? Just one year and how many days? Six days. One month and six days. I, sh I packed up everything and shifted. Because I was coming here for since 1986 and I found this place to be very peaceful, very loveful, very happy. And Delhi was a very busy place, very fast, uh, people with very fast minds, a lot of pace in our lives. So I thought that this is the best place to come and start working. And then, so this research we started in first program, started in Fab 98, officially we call. And in, in between, time is very less, but still I would like to share. So submitted, when I came here, after one and a half years coming here, I started having chest pain. My age was only 37. In November 97, I started developing chest pain. And one day in the evening, I had very severe chest pain, just at the age of 37. And uh, my ECG became, meant haywires, but it's not very typical of heart, disease, heart attack. And uh, I got my angiography done in Mumbai. It was normal, absolutely normal. Echo was done. They could not identify the disease. And, but I could not sleep. November, it was November, I think it's November 24, November 96, I'd had the problem. And I could not sleep, I could not lie down on the bed, because I used to have a lot of chest pain, heaviness on the left side, and my left upper limb was almost numb, totally numb. I could not sleep the whole night, I had a lot of have arrhythmias, ventricular uh, tachycardia, a lot of VPCs, and and I could not sleep for the whole November, December, January, February. Three months I could not sleep. I was not able to sleep at all. During the day, sometimes I, I, I was just sitting, sitting and just having a nap. But it was not a typical sleep, you know, getting sleep for one hour or two or not. Not like that, because I was having a lot of arrhythmias. So in Fab 90, uh, 97, I went to Delhi. I went to Udaipur. There was a eco-conference, because I am one of the founding members of Indian Academy of Eco-Cardiography. So there, my one of, one of, one of the friends from Mayo, Mayo Clinic, US, he was there. He, sa he said, he saw my face because I was not sleeping for the last three months. And so he said, Dr. Gupta, what has happened to you? I said, I am having this problem. Let me see your heart. Because he was a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy expert. He saw my heart and actually he said, Dr. Gupta, you are suffering from hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Your heart muscles have become almost 20, 21, 22 millimeter thick. And your LVOT also has got blocked. There's a gradient of 96 millimeter mercury. And on Valsalva, it, is, it was going almost up to 150 millimeter mercury. That is why I was not able to sleep. Because the gradient was so much and my heart was so heavy. And doctor, he said, come to US, we'll do an alcoholic septal ablation, and uh, we'll put an artificial pacemaker, AICD, and then, you, but there are high chances that during that problem also you may have problems. So then I, I came back from Udaipur, and I, we, because we have a um, Dadi Gulzar, you know, we, who she was a translated messenger of Shiv Baba. So we used to give, Dadiji, we gave a message to Baba, and Baba says, this disease has come not for operation, it, it has come to make Dr. Gupta ex, he, 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 authority of experience. Anubhav ki authority banane ke liye Because he had started a project on heart disease, that without surgery, without angioplasty, blockages can be opened, but he has no experience of Raj Yoga meditation in the right way. So then I was given one month by God to, to do more meditation. I started meditation, more meditation, eight to ten hours of meditation, I took leave, but there was no effect on my heart, on my symptoms. Again, after one month, we gave a message to God and 
He said, Dr. Gupta is not doing meditation in the right way. You are not doing message in the right way. Then I was explained the method of doing Raja Yoga meditation in the right way by God Himself. And then I started doing it. And third day, I, I got sleep. Third day of doing the meditation the right way, I got sleep. See, so you have been hearing, you must be, have been hearing here visualization. Visualize this, visualize this. The soul cannot be seen. Supreme soul cannot be seen. Subtle reasons cannot be seen. You cannot visualize them. Right? You can only revise what God says and you realize that. And then you will have experience. Right? Jo murli kehte na, paramatma ki murli, mahavakya kehte na, ye jo praaj ki murli jise. Every, every thought, every, every sentence in this, this is from God, directly from God. You have to first listen to it properly, then revise it with that love that God is telling me this, and then sachche dil se usko mehsus karna hai. Ek ek baat ko. Jaysay maa baap ki baat ko mehsus karte hai na. Usko mehsus karke mujhe aisa banna hai. Tab aapke jeevan mein parivartana, tab anubav hota hai. Anubhav hota hai, aapki, it is not only doing, I am a soul, supreme soul, son of supreme soul, kirne a rahi hai, aisa nahi, isse usse parivartan nahi hoga. Your behavior should change. The purity should be, on, should be on in, in your behavior. Peace should be in your behavior. Purity, what is purity? I am being, you are also being, I am a shining star, you are also shining. I see you also as my wife, my son also has shining star, a peaceful star, as a loveful star, as a happy star. Right? What is peace? Peace is being in the present. Love means accepting people as they are, accepting nourishing people as they are, not as per me, as per my, as my, my, as per my condition. And that is the cause of the heart disease. Peace is being in the present, not always in the past. We remain almost in the past. Our subconscious mind is full of psychological emotional hurts. So when I started doing the method, this meditation the right way, then within three days, third day itself I got good sleep. Supine. And then three months I was absolutely fine. After six months my, my echo was done by the same person again in, sept in September 1997, who had come in Delhi conference. And he said, Dr. Gupta, what has happened? What have you done? Your heart has become normal. My ejection fraction was 90%. Normal is 60%, right? My ejection fraction became 65%, which is normal. My heart muscle, which was 21 millimeter, became 13 millimeter. Posterior valve, which was 17 millimeter, became 10, 10 millimeter. Gradient, which was 96 millimeter, became 12 millimeter. Hmm? And Doctor in 97, that fellow from Mayo had told me that Dr. Gupta, if you do not get operated, you will not, you cannot stay, you will not survive two years. I am still alive. <laughs> right? In 23, I am alive. Am I alive or not? Yes. <laughs> what do you say? I couldn't get you. I'm not able to get you. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll share you the personally because time is not there. There is this. The people in the hall, they will say, no, time is over, time is over. What did you Patience rakha mana? Oh, aapke dheeraj, patience. How did you keep the patience? The patience, because I got the message that this disease has come to make you anubhav ke authority, authority of experience, right? But I was not doing meditation for 11 years, I was not doing meditation the right way. <laughs> my technique was not correct, right? Suppose I am treating a patient, but my technique is not correct, then the patient doesn't get relief, right? 
अच्छा मैं बता दूँ चले चले अभी हम आगे चलते हैं आगे चलते हैं चले मैं अभी आगे चलते हैं अभी आगे चलते हैं ना सो दिस पेपर मैं आई जस्ट मैं आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट आई इस एक्चुअली इट इज गॉड हैज सेट टाइम एंड अगेन इज रिवाइज एंड रियलाइज वॉट बाबा सेज इन द मुरली यू रिवाइज इट लाइक लाइक मदर हैज टोल्ड मी समथिंग I keep on revising. My mother told me this. My mother told me this. My father told me this. Son, you have to become like this. You have to become like this. Same way, the Supreme Father tells me daily morning. Son, you have to become like this. Son, you have to become like this. Today you have to do this. You don't. You, have, you cannot be angry. You have to be sweet with everyone. Right? So I revise it again and again, and then realize that yes, what is sweetness? Sweetness only in, not in speech, in eyes. Sweetness in listening. Listening. sweetness in behavior sweetness in walking sweetness in talking everything should be sweet right sweet means what sweet means full of seven energies deities are sweet in behavior right they are full of seven energies so i have to become like like a deity right so like i'm just given you one example so then i when i practice this daily with people then i become experience i, I get experience of i become authority of experience and that will change my heart love love means accept i accept someone is abusing me insulting me time and again in the office in the house but i accept that person as it is i say either you change or disappear no whatever you are i take care of you i accept you and will take care of you that is love why we call god ocean of love to pyar ka sagar hai because he accepts us as we are isn't it that is love so that is realization realization leads to experience right and experience when you experience any any point in the in the murli or peace love or happiness whatever it powers then you become saturated with that then your old behavior will change my problems my disease are because of my old wrong behavior heart disease or lung disease or my gi problem my liver problem my bone problem back problem or knee problem or migraine or thyroid or whatever my eye problems my number was 3.5 in the right eye and 3.25 in this eye and 1.5 near distance and 1.25 in the cylindrical error of 3 in both the eyes for from 16 years of age my number was increasing and at the age of 59 my number i got rid of specs for last 6 6 years i don't have specs right huh so <laughs> this is the effect of revise and realize right technique that means your behavior should change right that is meditation so we published this study and this public study was published in 2011 september and 2013 we were informed by the uh, abi usa that your study in is number 1 in top 20 studies in the world it's most most documented most uh, sort of read most cited by the doctors researchers and public and this is the only study in indian study in the world that which remained number 1 for 2 years and 4 months till november 2015 and then it was documented by american heart association in their scientific statement on meditation and cardiovascular risk reduction in 2017 as a study which the, the rajyoga meditation this we call it three dimensional healthcare as a study which not only regresses heart disease but it's also good in treatment management of hypertension diabetes smoking and other risk factors leading to heart disease right so basically this 25 now we have completed in this fab 2023 25 years of this program and on this in this year on 10th of may uh, our our prime minister shri narendra modi uh, was here and he he had we had the foundation stone link ceremony by him of global institute of health uh, health sciences a super specialty hospital and just in front of that we'll have a arogyam academy for healthy and happy world global institute of heart health and lifestyle sciences 
So within, within one and a half years or two years, we'll have this institute coming up in which we'll be treating heart disease, heart people suffering from heart disease, and also from other lifestyle disorders like hypertension, diabetes. In the last 25 years, we've been able to find out. We have, been, we have seen that people with hypertension, diabetes, people with 50 units of insulin, they, have, they also have been able to uh, get rid of insulin, anti-diabetics, the people with HbA1c of 13, 12, 13, 14, now they are all right without any medication. Right? At now HbA1c was less than 6. <laughs> Hypertension which was not controlled, people with prostatic cancer, they are all right. They could regress their prostatic cancer. They could get rid of bronchial asthma, they could get rid of GRD, long-standing GRD, skin problems, they are okay now. Prostatic cancer, we had some studies. Now we actually we, we are planning because in this new 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 uh, center, we are going to have uh, a metabolic lab, a neuropsychology physiology lab, and also a uh, molecular biology lab, so in which we will be able to document each and every aspect of meditation and stress. So in this new center which is coming up, right? So I think I just uh, I have I have finished with my time. <laughs> so I just share with you this is how how the heart arteries are there and uh, you can see this angioplasty is why we must have heard a lot about it and bypass and angioplasty is not the ultimate treatment jagdish bhai ek mic de jagdish bhai ko ek mic de dijiye jagdish bhai ek mic de dijiye he will share his experience and uh, this research program was started in uh, i told you uh, in uh, 2000 in 1998 february 98 in which cardiologist physiologist ek chair leke baith jaye to acha rahega Cardiologist, physiologist, and endocrinologist, clinicians, cardi and uh, psychologists, spiritualists. We all worked hand in hand for last, we have been working for last 25 years. And uh, this study, which I, I already told you, which is, has been published. Another randomized control study, Abu Healthy Heart Trial, is under publication. Yes, and uh, I just, the patients who could not walk 50 meters, they are now walking, he will share you, one, he's one of the patients, we call them Dilwalas, we don't call them heart patients, right? The ejection fraction also improves and the, the exercise tolerance he will share with you. And uh, lipid profile also, the, the, those were not the days of uh, statins that much, right? We, though we were using statins, but it was not, it was not a must. Uh, we can reduce uh, LDL, increase HDL, and decrease also triglycerides significantly, right? And 93% patients could open their blockages. You can just have a look on the screen. And you can see this 90% block opening up, right? Can you see this? A diffuse disease, long block which is not amenable for uh, angioplasty, opening up. 100% calcified, we had 50, 100% calcified blockages out of which 29 blockages opened up. You can see this? See this? 100% block opening up. These multiple blocks opening up. 80 and 90% block opening up. Ejection fraction, it was 30% in the first first angiogram. Second angiogram, it has become 45% after one year. Another angiogram, 80% block. Ejection fraction, 20%. Ejection fraction became being, becoming 50%. Another, another, another block, it, 100% block, calcified block, opening up. Control group, there's no opening. Because abhi jo mere patients aate na, reports aate mere <coughs> daily. Usme, just by looking at the angiogram, because we do psychological analysis for every patient. Day one, day seven, and then every three months we repeat. And then angiogram is repeated every six months. After six months of following the program. And the blockages open up. And we do the repeat psychological analysis. So we can find out, now I can say, Actually, this is experience now, unable to say it for last 18 years. That uh, for every, looking at the angiogram, we can find out the thought patterns of a person. That in his mind, this is what happens. In his husband and wife, this is a relationship. How do they work in the house or in the office? What is their behavior? They know their angiogram. Like when they look at the Joshi, they know their angiogram, they know their whole behavior. This is a scientific database, right? That's why this study is number one in the world, right? Okay. Yeah, it has been published. Mount Abu Open Heart Trial. Indoor patients. Indoor patients. Abhi hum log 
every year we till now we have done 176 groups 10480 patients we have done till now angiography documented patients who have come to us and because now after covid we are doing only five programs in a, in, in a year and rest eight rest seven months or eight months we do on a daily basis patient come uh, send the reports to us and we do their online consultation or they come to the hospital we keep, keep them in the hospital and we give them consultation and advise them because all the time the patients keep coming and we advise them on a daily basis so you can see this multi see the for every block there is a thought pattern if you just follow the diet and exercise blockage blockages will not open up because you have to change thought patterns if you can change the thought patterns with the yoga meditation then the block will open up it's not not only about heart disease it is about coronary carotids vertebrals renal artery lower limbs everywhere anywhere even the bone is osteoarthritis of knee joint intervertebral disc this this, this this that is also because of that is also has a vascular cause even if if you can change that the even the vascular the the vascularity of that the, the osteoarthritis also disappears the cartilage cartilage will regenerate i have treated so many patients with this interval and interval disease and the osteoarthritis that also improves right but without deformity if deformity comes in then we cannot we cannot operate right? we cannot treat uh, so this see, see this blocks have increased another angiogram see this this is a 100% calcified block and the repeat angiogram it has opened up dikhai de raha hai so this eeg the psychological stresses have changed eeg we have done you can see this eeg L, normal is beta rhythm alpha is peaceful rhythm with closed eyes theta is loveful rhythm when you start accepting people as they are and delta is deep sleep it's a bliss happy and blissful rhythm just in day 7 on day 7 alpha rhythm has increased so much beta rhythm has gone down delta theta rhythm has increased and delta rhythm has also increased so with eyes open this is a practice meditation change of consciousness from outer self to inner self conscious and see this alpha rhythm improving theta rhythm improving beta rhythm going down and delta rhythm also improves on day 7 rajoga meditation is not, not done with closed eyes closed eyes i am talking to you but i am relaxed i am peaceful and loveful and happy right that is rajoga meditation all the time 24 hours change of consciousness and this is about sympathetic and parasympathetic activity see this red red line is sympathetic activity low frequency power and beta is parasympathetic relaxation response day 7 the parasympathetic sympathetic activity is too much parasympathetic activity is very less and day 7 itself there is a decrease in sympathetic and improvement in, improve in parasympathetic and just after one year this is total harmony that means you will face challenges all or your life but with raj yoga meditation you will be able to face challenges in life with a relaxed state of mind you will not have disease right okay so this is we have done hormones also stress hormones uh, adrenaline epi, nor, nor, nor adrenaline cortisol levels 8 am 4 pm sample insulin sensitivity also we have done endorphin levels and the serotonin levels we have done 8 am and 4 pm sample very important after doing a meditation from 4 to 4:30 or 4:45 amrit vela that time you should experience bliss bliss means anand means an means bandhan an means anand means mukt bandhan mukt sthiti the soul is detached from the body and bodily world and can merge with bab in god's love right lovely sthiti going beyond if you can achieve that state there is a harmonious release of hypothalamic factors pituitary hormones and the pineal hormone and in turn all the hormones hormonal orchestra of the whole body the thyroid parathyroid pancreas adrenal and gonads there is a harmonious release of all the hormones and then from the time you get up your team team is mind thoughts emotions attitudes and memories with bliss you trigger positive team up to 8 am you maintain your positive team and murli is 100% positive team so 7 to 8 we listen to the murli so that then the cortisol surge is harmonious and the whole day you are peaceful loveful and happy and you are efficiency increases 3 to 4 times and in the if you don't get up in the morning and 
listen to mobile or uh, television or newspaper, then your team is negative and so cortisol surge becomes very high and whole day you are jaldi baji, chinta, gussa and efficiency goes down much more. Right? So that is the secret of this program. Right? So, abhi aap sunte hain inse, ye kya kehte hain? Sunye. For insulin sensitivity also, he will say, he'll tell you how is insulin was stopped. And insulin, because insulin, because cortisol levels have gone down, gone down in just day seven, on day seven, so your insulin sensitivity improves with lesser insulin, in, in a, your, your own insulin, you are able to control your diabetes. And so blood pressure is also controlled, diabetes is also controlled, weight also comes down, you will listen, listen from him. Sunai. Om Shanti. I am a Sterling Hospital लेकिन मेरे को प्रॉब्लम एक दूसरा और था वो डायबिटीज का इंजेक्शन फ्रैक्शन कंट्रैक्टेड ही ना नॉर्मली 60 परसेंट इनका 25 परसेंट था 25 परसेंट ये अब था मेरे को डायबिटीज 40 साल से था और वो डायबिटीज 400 साढ़े 400 रहता था और मैं करीबन 40-45 यूनिट इंसुलिन लेता था इसलिए वो सर्जरी के लिए हमने और बाद में करने करने के लिए डॉक्टर साहब को बोला और फिर यही ग्लोबल हॉस्पिटल में सर का प्रोग्राम चलता था उसका मैसेज मिला तो हमने केयर प्रोग्राम एटेंड किया तो डॉक्टर साहब ने जो केयर प्रोग्राम में हमको बताया खान पान योगा मूल्य वो वो सब हमने 100 परसेंट फॉलो किया और तीन महीने के बाद फिर से वो केयर प्रोग्राम हो रहा था तो हमने आपका वजन कितना था वजन मेरा वजन 102 की चीज था 102 किलो के थे ये है ना और ये इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट थे इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट हैं उन जामे मैं मशीनों बनाता हूँ जीरा सॉप साफ करने की बड़ी बड़ी मशीनें बनती हैं आ तो जब दूसरा प्रोग्राम हुआ केयर का so I came to the doctor and said, you will eat food when you have three months. I will tell you about it. One minute, one minute. What was the problem in our face? We had about 50-60 patients in one group. 50-60 patients, 50 patients and their wife or husband. But we do not invite anyone without spouse. Because the disease is there, right? Husband has a disease, so wife is the cause of the wife. Wife is the cause of the husband. You have to change both of them, right? You have to call both of them. This is a must. So what happened to us here? We didn't have to make food for regular food. We have to make food for 4 hours. So I shared my father with my father. I didn't understand how to share my father. So what do I do with my father? My father has shown me that this is a soul that I know that you are the big ones. I know that you are the big ones. So you have to say that you are the big ones. So you have to say this, and his heart was pumping too, his breath was full, but it didn't work. So he said that he had to make a food. So I said, I said, I have to make a food, it doesn't come to his breath. He has to make a food for the Paramatma. So in front of me, I saw that he was very happy, his weight was reduced, he was 85 kg, he was 102 to 85 kg in three months. And he said that he had to make a food, so he said that my heart was 55 percent. Twenty-five था ना, fifty-five percent हो गया और insulin हट गई है और sugar अभी खाने के बाद डेढ़ सौ आती है पहले साढ़े चार सौ खाली पेट आती थी चार सौ साढ़े चार सौ खाली पेट sugar अब खाने के बाद डेढ़ सौ आ रही है खाने के पहले एक सौ दस आ रही है इन्होंने मुझे बताया तो मेरी हिम्मत आ गई मैंने कहा आपको खाना बनाना आता है कहता है मेरे खाना तो कभी बनाया नहीं मैंने खाना बनाने के टाइम ही न so I said, I have to make all of you. There are 500 people in one group, there are 500 people in one group. So I said, I will make it. Now my knowledge has been saved, so I will do everything I will do. And that day and today's day, 
कितने साल हो गए चौबीस चौदह साल हो गए चौदह साल हुए चौदह साल नाइन्टी थ्री प्रोग्राम नाइन्टी थ्री प्रोग्राम कंटिन्यू किया ना एक भी प्रोग्राम को मिस नहीं किया इन्होंने हर प्रोग्राम में आते हैं एक दिन पहले आते हैं सबका खाना बनाते हैं तीन चार लोगों को अपने साथ लेते हैं अपने साथ ही बनाए हैं उनके साथ मिलकर खाना बनाते सुबह तीन बजे से काम करना शुरू करते रात ग्यारह बजे तक काम करते हैं खाना बनाते भी खिलाते भी हैं आप, आपकी बीमारी पहले कैसे रहती थी बताओ अभी मैं आठ दस पंद्रह किलोमीटर चलना तो चल सकता हूँ अभी पंद्रह दिन पहले मैं गया था आ, जो अम्बाजी टेम्पल है वही वन नाइन सेवन जीरो स्टेप है तो मेरे साथ दो लड़के थे पच्चीस साल और अट्ठाईस साल का तो मैं सवा घंटे में क्लियर किया वो बोले चाचा जी थोड़ा धीरे चलो धीरे चलो मैंने 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 सवा घंटे में तो क्लियर कर दिया अने जब से मैंने केयर प्रोग्राम अटेंड किया पहले तो मैं एक महीना दो महीना तीन महीना हॉस्पिटल में रहता था लेकिन जब से केयर प्रोग्राम मैंने अटेंड किया तब से एक एक भी बार मैं हॉस्पिटल नहीं गया इसलिए वो घर वाले ने बोल दिया कि हर प्रोग्राम में आपको क्या केयर प्रोग्राम अटेंड करना है तो जो नाइन्टी थ्री प्रोग्राम किए तो बीच में हमारे फादर ने भी सही छोड़ा मदर में मदर ने भी सही छोड़ा आ, कोई शादी आई लेकिन बाबा ने ऐसा जुगाड़ किया कि वो बीच में ही सब एडजस्टमेंट कर दिया तो नाइन्टी थ्री प्रोग्राम हमने कंप्लीट क्लियर किया न जो 102 सौ दो के जी में जो मैं वर्किंग करता था अभी 52 टू के जी में इससे भी ज़्यादा करता हूँ देखिए अभी 52 टू किलो वजन का 102 में सिर्फ 50 किलो कम हुआ है एनर्जी कितनी है एनर्जी चार गुनी हो गई है चार गुना एनर्जी हो गई क्या है कि कई बार हमारे केयर प्रोग्राम में क्या है कि पिछली बार प्रोग्राम बढ़ा था तो अब दो, दो सौ सत्तर अस्सी लोग थे पिछले प्रोग्राम में तो कई बार तीस किलो चालीस किलो प्रोग्राम में किलो चालीस लोग दो सौ चालीस पचास लोग थे दो सौ पचास लोग थे तो वेट उठाना पड़ता है न केयर प्रोग्राम में जो भी पेशेंट आए मैंने देखा नाइन्टी थ्री प्रोग्राम से किसी को कैंसर था किसी को अस्मा था किसी को डायबिटीज था किसी को हार्ट की बीमारी थी सब जिसने भी फॉलो किया सबको ठीक हो गया होम शांति हार्ट अटैक मोटापे से नहीं होता है हार्ट अटैक मन के वेट से होता है ठीक है डायबिटीज भी मन के वेट से होती है मैंने बताया नहीं आपको चेंज ऑफ टाइप ऑफ मेडिटेशन सी मैंने आपको बताया चलो मैं भी खड़ा हो जाता हूँ बस टाइम हो गया मेरा चेंज ऑफ मेडिटेशन क्या है देखिए मैंने बताया योग मीन्स कनेक्शन योग मीन्स कनेक्शन कनेक्शन विद द ट्रूथ एंड इट हैज टू बी एटरनल कनेक्शन ये नहीं कि आधा घंटा सुबह शाम नहीं आप सांस कितने देर लेते हो आधा घंटा सुबह शाम लेते हो आधा घंटा सुबह शाम लेते हो सारा दिन लेते हो ना तो मेडिटेशन इज अ कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस आधा घंटा सुबह शाम नहीं दिस अटेंशन ऑल द टाइम फ्रॉम आउटर सेल्फ कॉन्शियस टू इनर सेल्फ कॉन्शियस चलते फिरते उठते बैठते आम अ बींग आई मेक द बॉडी फंक्शन आई मेक द हार्ट फंक्शन विद एनर्जी ऑफ लव आई मेक माई लंग फंक्शन विद द एनर्जी ऑफ पीस आई माई ब्रेन मेन फंक्शन विद द नॉलेज ऑफ ट्रूथ दैट आम अ बींग नॉट द बॉडी फियर डिस राइट ए बी सी डी आत्मा बाबा कनेक्शन एंड ड्रामा If this remains in my consciousness, then my then my brain will function properly, right? My eyes, purity. If I see goodness in everyone, my eyes number will change, right? If I see bad bad thing in others, my number is going to change on the wrong side, okay? Then purity means your immune system, right? Liver happiness, super sense of joy. means liver and your intestines the bliss is for hormones and powers are for the joints your back, back what is why 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 back problem vistar ko sar milane ki shakti hamari behne kyun kamar kharab jaldi kyun hoti hai rai ka pahad bana leti hai sensitive nature hoti na 20 20 30 saal purani baatein bhi khod khod ke le aati hai hai na wo tumhari maan ne 40 saal pehle mere ko ye bola maan mar gayi hai hai na shaadi ke dusre din mere ko ye bola tha hai na छोटी बातें भी राई का पहाड़ दैट इज वाई दैक प्रॉब्लम राइट विस्तार को सार में कछुआ कछुआ होता है ना कछुआ टॉर्टॉइस टॉर्टॉइस जैसे बनना है है ना पहाड़ को राई बनाना है पहाड़ को राई बनाना है पहाड़ को राई बनाना है 
विस्तार को सार आप जो अपने मन बुद्धि को सारी दुनिया में फैला के रखते हो ना उसको सार में ला के रखो ठीक है ओके विस्तार पावर टू विड्रॉ खाना खाया चले बुद्धि को अंदर ले लिया बस ऊपर जुड़ गए जुड़े जुड़े ही आपको सारा काम करना है और समेटने की शक्ति नी ज्वाइंट ना मन बुद्धि को समेट के उस उस पावर हाउस से जुड़े रहो तो आपके नी ज्वाइंट भी बेटर होते जाते हैं ऐसे कर मैं टाइम नहीं है इसका टाइम बहुत हो गया मेरे को डांट लगाएंगे वो हाँ नहीं टू नाइन्टी एट नाइन्टी एट फाइव नाइन्टी एट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स This reversal of type 2 diabetes from 2017, and with a very good success. And this month, I am going to Germany. We have a ESD program over there. I will be presenting a case over there. Effect of meditation, vegetarian diet, and other lifestyle. This thing. Now, can you please share me what is your success rate in regression of type 2 diabetes with this method? See, I will just tell you. Success rate is. Because we follow them at a very, very regular level. Yes, sir. And almost, I'll tell you that in our study which we published, the, the regression, the sort of reversal rate of diabetes was about 90%. 90%. 90%. And, and people nowadays who are coming, it's almost everyone follows sincerely. We, we, each and every patient is followed very, very sincerely in our Brahma Kumari centers. And daily they join me in 4 a.m. in the morning on Zoom, all the patients. And daily in the evening for one hour in the evening, 7:30 to 8:30. Right, that sir. is the type of that yeah. is the type of adherence they do it. I, I will share that uh, data. Oh, and another, Shanti? yeah, please. Right. I'm time sorry is to interrupt you. Time both okay, uh, Because we have our next session at four o'clock yeah, yeah. again. Sorry. Uh, you can uh, share with me, so, Dr. Sir, you can uh, share with me personally. Okay. Om Shanti. Vaise, one minute of silence. One minute of silence. Uh. Sachin bhai hai kya? Sachin bhai yahan par? चलो एक मिनट साइलेंस मैं देता हूँ मैं मैं नंबर देता हूँ हमारे रिस्पेक्टेड गेस्ट भी चेयर पर हैं चलो एक मिनट एक मिनट साइलेंस में बैठ मैं मिलता हूँ आप मैं यहीं पर हूँ आपके साथ मैं बता देता हूँ My number is seven zero one four. Seven zero one four. हाँ जी. Nine eight. हाँ जी. मैं निवेदन करूँगी ये आदरणीय डॉक्टर साहब से कि हमारे जो गेस्ट इन चेयर हैं आपका फिलिस्टेशन. आप नंबर बता दो. सचिन भाई हमारे सचिन भाई हैं ये भी दिल वाले हैं. इनके भी इनको हार्ट अटैक आया था. इसके बाद हार्ट की पंपिंग बहुत कम हो गई थी. ये डायरेमियाज. इनको बैंटी को टेकी गाड़ी होता था बीच-बीच में, तो इनको फिर अबाउट 50 परसेंट वर वीपीसीज, टोटल वन लाख में से वीपीसीज थे, अभी ही इज ओके विदाउट एनी, ही इज इंजीनियर बाय प्रोफेशन, ये माउंट आबू आगे छोड़के फिर गाजियाबाद छोड़के अभी माउंट आबू रहते हैं। हाँ, सेवन जीरो वन फोर नाइन एट सिक्स डबल टू नाइन हमारे गेस्ट का फेलिसिटेशन डॉक्टर सतीश गुप्ता जी कर रहे हैं वैसे तो आपके एक्सपीरियंसेस इतने ज़्यादा हैं कि हम सुनते रहें सुनते रहें और लेकिन ज़रूर आपको वापस मौका मिलेगा कभी आप पुनः जब यहाँ आएंगे तो एक क्रक्स अगर हम देखें तो आपने बताया स्टॉप करें ऑब्जर्व करें जो भगवान कहता है उसको रिवाइज और रियलाइज करें और फिर स्टीयर करें एस ओ एस का ये मंत्र हम अपने साथ लेकर जाएं टेक अवे के रूप में
और एक बार जोरदार तालियों से हम आपका धन्यवाद करते हैं थैंक यू